A day away from this year's Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl, Wyoming and Toledo kick off tomorrow at 2.30. And while the game is a big deal for the teams and their fans, it also does a lot for our community. 13 News reporter Jack Cooper live at Arizona Stadium this morning. And Jack, what exactly makes this game so special? Yeah, Carson, good morning. When I talk to bowl organizers, they tell me that compared to the other 43 bowl games that are happening right now, this one is a unicorn. That's the actual word that they use when describing this game. Now, that's because every single dollar that's going to be spent here at Arizona Stadium over the next couple of days and the other events that are happening that uh, go along with the bowl game will actually be going back to local charities in our area. I'm also told that since 2015, the Arizona Bowl has given back over four and a half million dollars to charities throughout Southern Arizona. Over 70 nonprofits have benefited from this, and just last year alone, over one million dollars was raised. Now, with two teams coming here from out of the state, the economic impact for Tucson is massive. Since the first Arizona Bowl eight years ago, over 100 million dollars has come right back to the city and Southern Arizona. Any dollar that comes into us from the tailgate, from the bowl batch, from ticket sales, anything inside the stadium is going right back into Southern Arizona. So, you know, don't just come, but be a part of it. You know, buy a hot dog, buy a beer, buy a Coke, whatever it is, that helps us give money back to the over 70 charities that we've worked with right here in Southern Arizona. So far, over 27,000 tickets have been sold for tomorrow's game, but I'm told that Tucson is a big walk-in community when it comes to the Arizona Bowl, meaning that uh, people actually walk up and buy tickets at the window as well. So they expect over 30,000 people to be here at Arizona Stadium tomorrow for the big game. Reporting live at Arizona Stadium, I'm Jack Cooper, 13 News. Thank you, Jack.